Hello, welcome back guys and in this tutorial we will be building our first app hello world and getting a tour of android studio. So let's get on it. So click on start a new android studio project and type your application name as we are building hello world we will be typing hello world. And you can see company domain package name and project location. But if you are using android studio for the first time you will be seeing different project location so don't get confused click on this and choose a different folder so now you are thinking what is company domain and package name package name is usually the reverse of company domain so and company domain is a concept used by google to make sure your application reference is unique across the world so when you are building an app you will eventually be uploading it to an app store or google play so to differentiate your app from other apps you should have a unique identifier so that your app is standing out from the others so if you have a complete domain you can type your company domain in it but it is a default company domain given by android studio and we will be using this siddharsharma.example.com so click on next and you will be seeing this page phone and tablet, wearable, TV, Android Auto. So we will be working on phone and tablet but you are thinking what is VR, TV and Android Auto. Android Auto is basically used for building Android app for automobiles, literally cars and Android app used in TV and smart watches that is wearable. So let's go, go on to the first option that is phone and tablet and you can see the minimum SDK is defined as API 16 Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. But if we scroll up a little, we can see API 9 that is uh, Android 2.3 Gingerbread. You can see API 9 is uh, cover 100% of the devices. So if you are choosing your minimum SDK level as an API 9, you will be covering 100% of the devices, but it is usually not used because if you are covering 100% of the devices you are limiting yourself in functionality because as a newer version of API or Android is released uh, uh, functionality changes some new features are added but uh, if you are using a very old version of API then you will be not be handling those functionality and those features so I recommend you to use API 16 Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. It covers approximately 95.2% of the devices. That is good enough. So click on next and in this page you will be choosing your layout that uh, Google will make for you, that Android Studio will make for you. So uh, so don't get sometimes people get confused that newer version of Android Studio is released like 2.4 or if you are using 2.2 or 2.1 you will be seeing some different layouts but choose a closest one to what i am using and you will be fine because uh, when an android studio version is released the most basic thing is that they add some new layout or change the layout so we will be ch uh, choosing empty activity for our first app but as we progress further in our tutorials, we will be using some complex layout. So don't worry as we are using empty activity. So click on next. And in this page you will be seeing activity name and layout name. And I recommend you to select general layout file and backward compatibility. As general layout file, Android Studio will build your layout file. And if you have not selected it, your layout file will not be generated and I also recommend you to select backwards compatibility as we are we are building our app in Android 7.1 NuGaa but if you have not selected your backwards compatibility you will, your app will not work in previous versions like Marshmallow and Jellybean so click on finish now Android Studio will be building our project based on the option we have selected so I will just pause the video and come back a little later so here we are so Android Studio is building our project as you can see in the 
grade our build is running so we have finally built our first app that is hello world and the first thing i want to draw your attention is the button which have a android symbol on it and it tells us which api we are using currently we are using api 25 that is android 7.1 nuga and the other thing i want to draw your attention is that you may recall that we when we originally set up this project that wizard asked for a name and we left the layout name activity underscore dot main so basically a layout is a file how various parts of a screen are laid out out on android studio and the android studio let us modify the layout by using the graphical interface that is like uh, you can see the widgets here like button toggle button checkbox radio button and we can simply drag on drop on the layout and it will change the layout we can also modify the layout by changing the xml as ultimately the layout is written in xml and you can edit the xml by clicking on the text tab and you can see this window and here we are getting the preview of the xml preview of the xml and if you are on this view you are seeing what i am seeing and the good news is the android studio let us make complicated layout without ever writing a single word in xml and they have succeeded in it so if you are not familiar with the xml you shouldn't have any problem and if we are changing something in xml i will teach you how how it is done so don't worry about it so let's go to go on to the design tab and you can see the hello world and we can simply change the text by clicking on the text tab and changing like this is the first project and once we end enter and you can see the text is changed so that's it for this tutorial and thank you for watching it and if you have any doubts you can post it on my facebook page or comment down below thanks for watching guys if you like it please subscribe it helps us a lot and bye guys